morning, morning, one and all. Welcome back to DK64Randomizer.com, where we got, yet again, another little something different for you. We are entering our experimental phase for Season 3. We're trying to figure out what is happening in Season 3. And to do that, we got to throw a whole bunch of people at a whole bunch of settings. So we are trying out our some experimentation for Season 3. It's going to be a real interesting one for you. I am Lorak. I will be on the mic for you tonight, and I'm joined by Solid Bones. How you doing, man? Oh, I just realized that I was muting Discord that whole time. How you doing, Solid Bones? Whoops. <laughs> That's a classic. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you just said a lot of good things to nice people out there. Howdy, everybody. I'm uh, Solid Bones, a.k.a. you can just call me Bones. Uh, excited to be here today. I uh, do love me some Kong, as I'm sure all of you do as well. Uh, we're going to be, this is a sneak preview, basically, of the, the Season 3 settings we're balling around, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. You uh, you may have missed my spiel a little bit because I forgot to click a single button. I clicked like four <laughs> buttons before I start talking, and I just missed one today. Unfortunate. First time that's happened. Is, would, you, would you believe it? That's wild. Yeah, so you already explained to everybody else what's different. <laughs> I, I have my own spiel. That's all right. No, I'm, I'm not everything. Not everything. For okay, example, I what is going on in our settings today? So... We are starting with a base of Season 2. Let's cut to the let's cut to our game feed. Starting from a base of Season 2, we are doing what we call our Radical SLO, our Radical Simple Level Order settings. Radical? Yeah, Radical. It's a good word. It's a good word because I came up with it. That's why it's good. So there's a few changes. You can, you can see a few of them already on the starting screen. We are starting without Key 6. They have to go find Key 6. Key 6 must be acquired in order to beat the seed. However, to compensate, there is one fewer helm room required. There is only two helm rooms. You kind of sort of move the puzzle around. Instead of a helm instrument, it's just for Key 6. Kind of the same boat. The item pool has been shuffled around as well. Those of you who watched Kevin may have enjoyed some crates and some fairies. Those are in the pool as well. Uh, and those of you who watched may have also witnessed some arcade and jetpack. That is also a possibility. We got some arcadey company coin actions we may find those fooling around to compensate we have pulled out jetpack. we have pulled out crowns to compensate so no crowns are necessary in the seed and then there's a few more surprises in there we got shop location shuffle our shop owners may not be in the vanilla locations they might be a little bit all over the place they might get a little, a little wild a little crazy and we've also got progressive hints. So we've got hints on the pause menu for them to peruse at their leisure. They'll get little pop-ups that alert them as they collect GBs that new hints are available. Good times. Yeah, that's so exciting. That's like one of the biggest things I feel like that a lot of people were trying to problem solve for in season two was like, how do we stop everyone from just running up the doors for 10 minutes at the beginning of every seed? Uh, yeah. So very cool. Uh, really excited for all these big changes. Somebody in uh, chat there uh, did ask there, Mike Champ, what is your favorite check? I think my favorite check uh, is it's got to be Mechfish because when something is actually on Mechfish, good answer. you know it's a good story. Good it's answer. a good narrative. Yeah, we'll talk about war stories in a minute. We got a couple more things. We got a couple more boxes to take off too. A couple level barriers are different. We're going to have to see, and we'll see them as we come across them, but know this, the back of Aztec is open. You need not get hard <gasps> to get back there. However, to compensate, the shipyard is closed. You need peanuts to get into the shipyard. And you do not need coconut to get into the lighthouse. We have swapped which gate is open. Fun times. So, so the water level is raised, right? The water level is raised as well. So some small but impactful changes to two major to two levels. We'll see where those levels end up and how much they matter. For all we know, they could just end up level seven, and we're just kind of out of here. We are almost. We are just about ready to go. Um, of course. Yeah, uh, we just got to get the last few runners ready up, and we will be ready to go. So, super exciting. It's uh, a pretty. It's a. It's a nice lobby tonight. We got twenty people tonight, so that'll be a, a fun one. We got to throw a whole bunch of people at these settings. We got guinea pigs are out here, so they are determining what works and what doesn't. We have a suite of testing seeds available. There's a whole pile of asyncs available in the Discord of this setting string and another one. And then in two weeks, or yeah, in two weeks, we'll, or, okay, so this week we're testing the Radical SLO setting string. So today and Sunday will be uh, this setting string for the weeklies. Next week, we will have an all keys preset. We've got some asyncs available for that as well. So Friday and Sunday will be all keys. And then the week after that, we will have two more presets drop. We'll talk about those when we get there. 
including a little complex level order action for the Kevin enjoyers Ooh. out there. It's a good time to play rando. It really is. This is where things get wild. We're in the Wild West. We get the mad scientists out in the lab experimenting a bit, trying to figure out what makes seeds click. What is so enjoyable about this crazy game from the year of our Lord, 1997? <laughs> is it 96 or 97? I might be. I hope I'm right. You know, true story, I'm a little bit uh, scarred sometimes by how modern the randomizer is compared to the original game. And I, I watched somebody actually have to feed the totem in Aztec, and I was like, oh my god, is that a check I haven't been doing? <laughs> I was like, oh wait, no, he doesn't have to not do that. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's it's skipped for very good reason. It's just tedious, slow, and gets all sorts of messy. But everyone's ready! So this weekly is about to get fired off. Here we go, 10 seconds. Hold on to your butts, folks. We're about to get radical. Woo! <laughs> You're radical! Yeah! We are, today, we are all Diddy Kong. We are all... We got the guitar. You know us well. Yeah. We are radical. Of course, we don't need Diddy Kong to get in the back of Aztec, so, you know, make of that what you will. True. Racers are off. Look at that tiny hair color on etiquette. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I missed it. And, of course, he's never going to switch back to tiny because Diddy moves faster with those cartwheel jumps. Nothing interesting in the sprint cage, so... A standard opener. We see this all the time in Season 2. However, we got a little bit of spice added to the opener. We gotta figure out what to do with the fairy and the outer aisles. Are we gonna get in action early? No? Okay. It's so, The wrinkly notification is so good. It's like he's texting us. It does help. The grave. It helps immensely. Ooh, we're gonna get a level 2 look. What do we got here? Okay, well, they're both doing the same thing. And Poking craves. And they want to know how much level 2 costs. So there are no wrinkly hint doors. All your hints are in the pause menu. But they see the caves cost four, so we're going to have to keep that in mind. We're going to need four GBs to get a level two, so we're going to have to do a little bit of digging at level one. Yeah, just a little bit. Depending on what level one is, that can either be pain or that can be just fine. Okay, Chad has informed me I was very wrong. It's actually 1999, so... I completely <laughs> whiffed. Not even a little bit. Oh, diving. Love that. Diving? Okay. Obviously, always <laughs> did it. I would say nice to get, but more like have to get. Thank you for distracting me from my uh, shortcomings. <laughs> as generic has drifted okay, all the I'm way. Sure you can dive great. Oh, generic drifts all the way out oh. to go find key two on a ferry. That's a good find. Key flapping around. That's a great find. Yeah, you put some pixie dust on that thing. What the heck? That's not normal. And then they did expand the camera hitbox, correct? Yes, the camera is uh, a little bit better. It is, you know, still the fairy camera we know and love, and it is still you gotta wrangle it. It ain't it ain't simple to wrangle that camera, but it is a little bit nicer than you might expect. This always reminds me of the uh, the clamshell checks, where it's like, it's better than it used to be. Yeah. Well, I like to think of it as more like a, uh, we got a forest at 5 GBs, I think. We may get some forest action then. Oh, boy. I think you're taking the time to check the uh, Are we signs. checking sides? Oh, it's going to be, okay, that's where Cranky is. And yes. that said, uh, did that, that one by, he, uh, he looked at it so fast. I think I saw that uh, Diddy buys donkey. Or Diddy donkey buys right? donkey. What do we got to do with that? That is, yeah, Diddy donkey. And now, Etiquette's headed back. We got So the, the shop owner shuffle means that Snide and Cranky and Isles have swapped locations. So we got Snide back here. New to Season 3 as well, Snide will tell you your helm order. So when one of them runs into Snide, you know, at their leisure, whenever they figure that out, or whenever they feel like doing that, they will see what Snide, or what, uh, what the helm order is. What instruments we will need to defeat. Or to turn First off the, the seed. Corner of the eye. A little bit of a jump scare. The cops in Castle Lobby, I hate those guys. Those guys are... They're like the, the, the least annoying cops, but they're, they're still annoying, if that makes sense. It, it... The, the, yeah, I mean, because like, if you're this early in the seed, if you don't have like any way to actually deal with them, it's like, well, I'm not going that way, I guess. They're, they're a mild inconvenience in this lobby, which makes them somehow even more annoying. I, I don't... I don't know. Like you can get castle, you can get cops on the way up on castle that are like objectively way worse to run into. But sure. like, but getting caught in castle lobby just feels like such a, a trivial thing. That's just like, it just gets around my skin. Or a cop in a in a tunnel and factory is like great. Thanks, love it here. Interesting that none of them have checked their hints yet. Uh, they may be waiting for the next pack of hints. They may be waiting for the next alert yeah. to pop up before they look at it. Which you know, make a early monkey port. That's always nice. Well, that we need that we need that to get in the helm. So Ooh. I did and not see a tiny item over there at a uh, cranky Ooh. in caves. Gonna be able to try to buy it. This is Candy's location. We got Tiny buying something here. It's a special move. And but... one coin short. You hate to see it. Oh man, there's a fair few coins in Castle to work with for Tiny. So we'll have to come back for that one. 
Just write it it's down. One and... of those things where it's like, I guess I gotta grab those earlier yeah. <laughs> before I came here. Just write it down and move on. Plus, having seen a shop, that is one fewer shop that would be at the top of Castle. So we have true one fewer reason to climb. But oh yeah, that is a big difference. But not, logic. but not Frankie no reason. Literally, be the king of the castle. There has to be something at least in one of the two locations climbing Castle. So we're likely to see them, but not yet, not yet. That was Janaric's third coin, and he did not turn around for the, the potion that Tiny buys. I'm wondering so, if he actually saw it was. Well, he knows it's three coins, and he only had two, and that was his third. Oh, oh, okay. And, again, I just really probably not much of a rush, to be honest. You're going to come back for that in time, no way, so... No way you leave that behind, so... What's the rush? Etiquette moving on back. He's going to... Oh, getting punched by the Kasplat! Oh, I'm so sorry. Getting a little bullied. I got hands. Tell you what. Dude, every every time I'm like, you you know, like 99% of the Kasplats, you just own them, you just move on, like life is easy, and then that 1% of the Kasplats just embarrass you in front of everybody. And that's going to be the first crate check, I do believe, that's going to be a GB. Love well, that. Crates are really easy to check, and they just pop out GBs all the time. You love to see it. Puts a, puts a little more junk floating around, but, you know, small price to pay. Funky in his vanilla a... location. Nothing quite interesting. A, quite a few GBs already this early. Yeah, not terribly surprising. Castle surroundings have all sorts of good stuff between a couple of splats and well, the shops are pretty easy to get to. And there's a decent chunk of coins. I think castles are pretty average. Level oh, we're checking Okay, here we go. We're buying Donkey. Donkey. We saw that. Aztec Metal Awards. Key seven, key eight, a Lanky K rule. Factory shops. Key five. Chunky can be found by Diddy and Factory. And the outskirts have two potions. Now, scouring is a, is a newer hint term, right? Indeed. It tells you how many potions are in a region. Uh, so that monkey port is way the horde, no surprises there. We got the key too in our aisles. Because we found the key there. Main caves is foolish. That's pretty great for a level 2 caves. And then Kosha Dirt! Whoa! Yeah, Kosha Dirt way of the herd. That was kind of that buried the lead there. <laughs> oh my goodness. And we got a little sub hours. Okay, so what was that last one? That was a. Uh... Galleon something has one potion? Uh, it was a Galleon... Secrets has two potions? I didn't see the other. I did not see what exactly that region was. Caverns, okay. Caverns, okay. Caverns for one potion. That's pretty good. We'll have to deal with, uh... We may have to Ooh, deal with, uh... Small. Factory at four? Was it? Factory 12. Factory oh, sorry, you mean level order. Level yeah, level order. 12 is probably four. A lot of stuff going on at once. This is the funny thing with uh, with um, progressive hints that that drives me wild is that they'll check their hints at any moment. You can literally pause the menu, yeah. pause the game, and look at your hints at any moment. And I'm trying to write these down so I have them for reference later. But they could do it at literally any moment. Etiquette decided to randomly do it when he was leaving factory or when he was leaving castle. And suddenly I suddenly become stock exchange guys. We're just like, bye bye, galleon, galleon, sell, sell, sell. Time, 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 mashing my keyboard as hard as I can. Get, get the info down, get the info down, write that down, somebody write that down. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Uh, yeah, something out of, we already found key two, so that's, uh, we know that. Kosha shops is key eight. Kosha dirt is really interesting because we have nothing. <laughs> yeah, nothing. For that. Forest Lanky oh, yeah, Mushroom Slam. Board, right? We got a few more things. Right, forest Lanky Mushroom Slam. <laughs> forest Metals. Oh, we love Forest Metals, don't we, folks? <laughs> we love Forest Metals. Jave Shops are foolish. All right. And, oh, and there's only one, There's exactly one thing in the Forest Metals, so you better get it, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, Forest and Aztec Metals. Both important. Which, uh, Aztec Metals, you know, now we can actually go back there. <laughs> Indeed. We haven't had GBs to get in the forest, and that's where Generic chooses to go. I kind of like that. I think it's clearing out caves now. Okay, never mind. Generic just wanted the info. He's going to go back to Castle, looks like. I don't hate that. I mean, Etiquette didn't buy the um, the potion that was in in Cranky, so he may be going back for that. Etiquette opting to go into caves in instead. There's some sniper. I really like what Etika did. He basically saw that you started with coconut and bongos and was like, you know what? I'm going to run to coconut and bongo checks. Makes total sense. Caves makes a lot of sense. So yeah, there's a bit of a divergence here. Generic dude decided to rush straight back to castle. 
Shared Potion on in caves. Let's see what we got here. Shared Potion or Chop is really good. Vines. Nice. Vines wing it. We found it. Perfect. And that would be our hinted item. Vines on the path to key eight, because you need vines to get past the vines to enter Helm. That solves a hint. Life is good. Vines is on the path to key eight. And importantly, nothing else. So, gonna yes. keep that in mind. Unless we see something else weird pop up on the shops, but Vines makes a lot of sense here. Generic dude coming straight back to the cranky shop, gonna buy the tiny potion. See what this is. This is gonna kinda be a little bit impactful on how good it is. It's a great move, it's Minimonkey. Minimonkey! We love that. I am behind on clicks. Whoa. <laughs> Mini monkey in the cat in the cave shop or in castle shops. All over the place. That's pretty great. Mini monkey combined with monkey port is a pretty awesome pull. We can look at the car race already. It's and, good to look at, but also dang it, we have to look at car race. Yeah, right. You gotta go to the car race. <laughs> do you really wanna do the car race? Mm. So it's like, there's a there's a whole class of checks that are like monkey paw checks where it's like I can't look at it. I don't yeah. want to. Yeah, not not ideal. Now that said, that's not really hinted, so are you really that interested? Generic's not. He's going to go to Forest. Straight to Forest. I mean, we know metals are important. And we have many monkeys, so that's going to help, uh, theoretically. And you can opt to do the slam puzzle in the rotating cabin just to get another GB. Kind of pushing GBs a little bit. I can dig it. It's not a super fast check, but it's not too slow. Not having to do the crown because crowns are not in the pool, so that is a crown on that crown, and we Ooh. don't need crowns. So yeah. I keep getting slapped by one more because Splat, because Splats are fighting back this scene. They really are. Who told them they could do that? I didn't. I didn't <laughs> tell them. Did, did you tell them? Who made that a season two change? Because Splats now got hands. <laughs> you get mad. All right, well, now I'm getting ideas of, like, when you hit a Kasplat, it, like, enrages it or something, so I should probably stop getting ideas because that doesn't sound very pleasant for any uh, party yeah. involved. D please stop. <laughs> Don't empower the enemies. <laughs> You're annoying enough. Secret dirt, banana. All right. They may have hands, but Donkey has coconuts. He do have coconut. Right, He's the leader see. of the bunch. Important He's moment here for etiquette. Chef. Let's see what the shop is. If this is... Snize, that means there's a punch lock shop. Alright, we're getting our helm order in here. I still can't get over the vaporwave tiny color that Eddie gets rocking. That is so funny. Alright, we got Diddy and Tiny for helm, which means we need guitar, rocket barrel, and uh, sax. They have summoned Balam to look into making enemies even harder and more annoying. I've made a mistake. I apologize. <laughs> I'd like to apologize to the Donkey Kong community for the inevitable <laughs> Crucial Rage option. Gonna be checking the uh, the Strong Kong igloo. So it's kind of looking like, if I were to hazard a guess, our Forest Metal is gonna be Rocket Barrel, if I had to totally guess. Because we've got Forest Metals on the path to Key 8 and Diddy K rule. Mm. And that would be Rocket Barrel fits both, exactly. We need Rocket Barrel to fly at the Diddy's Room and Helm, and we need Rocket Barrel to be K exactly. rule with. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Makes a lot of sense. And it would be something on not on the path to anything else. So you wouldn't use Rocket Barrel for any other keys. If, if it were to be Rocket Barrel. Unclear. We're missing two Kongs. We can't even get some of these medals. Generic dude just, uh, pe oh my god, get did he just get sniped by an orange from a bee? I think he did. Uh, generic dude checking the cabin, even though it is technically out of logic right now. I'm having strong Kong, but there's three checks in here now with the fairy and the crate added, so the, the Thornvine Barn is a very good spot to check. That's actually a really, yeah, that's interesting. That's gonna be a bee medal. We're one eighth of the way to, to jetpack? <laughs> Question mark? Yeah. Eight medals to get to jetpack if we need to. Four fairies to get to BF5 if we need to, and we know Mini Monkey's available, so maybe, maybe one of them will take a hazard, a hazard a glance at it. Hmm. And that is a, is that a, wait, is there a banana fairy in the barrel, and then there's a banana where the banana fairy should be? <laughs> classic, classic randomizer. Making things as convoluted as possible just for the sake of it. Good one, game. And we kind of glossed over a little bit, but Generic is currently reaping the benefits of Dusk and Forest, where all night day gates are closed, or are, uh, just open. So you don't have to make it night or day, it just is. What a wonderful change. And would you, would you look at that blue slam at the top of Krem Isle, Monkey Port Locked. We love to see blue slam. We don't know if we need it, but we love to see it. Yeah. Always great to get early, just in case you did.
Right, and now they retread grounds because Etiquette has already cleared out caves a little bit, but now here comes Generic. You have to check the, uh, the bongos up here. Yeah, Generic uh, did not grab the Tiny Forest Metal, correct? Is it possible? I'm not sure it is. I, I'm trying to think, dude. Tiny Forest Metal sucks. <laughs> it really is bad. And even with Dusk, it's not much better. I think with Mini Monkey, you get a few more, but... Oh, Mini Plus Diving is totally enough. That's 100% doable. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mini and Diving. You dive in the moat to get 17, and then Mini Monkey around the mills and figure it out is kind of my intuition. So <laughs> just, just figure it out, man. <laughs> Don't ask me. There's like 20 something. There's like 15 or so in there at least. Like surely you can figure it out from there. Like 17 in the mode, 15 in the, the mill. Maybe it's 20. It's at least 15. Uh, etiquette electing now to climb castle, whereas uh, generic dude now is going to be checking out the donkey cabin. Oh, oh, okay, he's going back. I wasn't sure. Oh yeah, he's definitely going to be going back for hopefully that tiny purchase. It's going to be big because Mini Monkey is going to be pretty awesome to climb castle with. You get trash. You can do you can do the trash can as well as the uh, car race. The fact that there's like a banana bunch in Spider Boss drives me crazy. It is definitely a head scratcher, but I couldn't really tell you why it's there either. It's just only Rare knows why some of these CBs exist for like these donkey punches over you know gaps that will kill you. Yeah, Etiquette now has the the triple fat tiny as we're gonna call it, the mini monkey and the war pet. New hint pack for generic. Let's see, we got James Force lobbies to key six. There's our first key six hint. Treasure room is foolish. Lanky can be found by Donkey and Isles. Whoa. And then barrels on the path to Key 7 and or Key 7 and K Rulers Lanky. Interesting. What's Kasha dirt? You know the big cave Kasha, the one that's up in the ceiling that you have to teleport to? There's some dirt up there. Oh yeah. And you that, know what that, that needs? needs dirt. That needs barrels. So need barrels. Key 7 on Kosher Dirt? Kinda looking pretty good. I, that seems very possible to me. In fact, almost likely. It has to be either trombone or barrels. All right, I want to see a clean, flippy puzzle. Looking good, looking good. That was like DK with tusks. We got there. Her hair does look like tusks. I'm glad you said that because I've always thought that as well. <laughs> not, not, not to piggyback on your success for your deep and cutting analysis <laughs> on this one. I 100% I agree. It needs to be said. Like the the new grounds create a con. Like. Yeah. <laughs> now etiquette going into forest, so we may be able to get uh, some elucidation on what banana metals are looking good. Surely, we'll Surely. see if they can uh, they'll come through with the, the tiny banana metal. Surely, it's not just forest tiny metal. That would be too easy. Don't make fun of my girl tiny. I would never, Sarah. I have immense respect for tiny. Of course. And over to the snide, nothing. Snide is nine. How boring. Hey, well, it does mean we have uh, a uh, a shop over in Force Funky's location. We're gonna have to go down the green tunnel with Feather and Pineapple if we want to look at that shop. Not pretty, but we'll have to do it. I just realized we already have diving barrels and vines. All of our first three level restrictions are freed up. It, this could be like a run to factory angle. There's really no reason to stick around in the first three levels anymore. No particular reason. True. I, I think, um, just correct me if I'm terribly wrong, though, we still don't know which metal in Forest is important, right? Right. The metals in Forest are hinted, so they are defi it is definitely worth finding the one vial. On yeah, Aztec and Forest are both important metals, and we don't. We haven't been to Aztec yet. We, we don't even know where Aztec forest. is. We don't even have a key four hint, so that's not good. We have to find key four randomly, as far as we can tell. Yeah. But the reason why we want to go to Factory is you can get Chunky in Factory with Diddy, and I'm pretty sure, well... Maybe we can do it. It's unclear. Oh, Generic's doing the shop peek. If you so the camera, or the shops actually pop up based on your camera positioning. So if you can kind of force the camera to be back Whoa. there and then turn around, the, the shop will pop up. <laughs> There's a Diddy potion in there. No. <laughs> Secret con techniques. So with some camera manipulation, you can get it. Oh, Etiquette is mini monkeying into the back of the mills. He has absolutely got forced tiny metal on the mind. He can do the spider boss right now. It's not in logic because he's missing a gun for it, but... Yeah, he can still do it. 
this is the dangers of dusk. I'm I've been preaching this loud and wide as far as I possibly can. The spider boss is staggeringly accessible in dusk. You need yeah. if you had feather bow here, it would be in logic. And he has a potion. Of course he has a potion. Yeah, he said potion, right? Oh like my tried. oh my god. This is gonna get weird. <laughs> I think he's turning into the mascot for season three. Oh boy, a spider a dusk spider boss potion can cause problems with hints, folks. It can cause problems, because there's two ways to get this. You can either do it with Mini Monkey and Feather, or you can enter with Chunky via Punch and kill the boss with Pineapple. Both of those are known to be in logic. And because of either or shenanigans, neither one. It could be that one of them is not strictly required. You could do it with either possibility at any point. And so it leads to weird scenarios where oh, whatever this red vial is has nothing on the path to it. So this is an excellent pull from etiquette. This might be the first... Chimpy. Well, I say it might Go be... Go on. <laughs> it might be the first step in something, but Chimpy Charge is probably the weakest thing you could have found there. For sure. Maybe Spring, too, but Spring might get you to look like the Dark Rafters or something. Nothing really impressive, I'm afraid, there. So. I, I love Mike just saying huge, massive, immense. Enormous. Unbelievable. We've never seen anything larger than this. We're going to actually be checking... Uh, Miles here, that's instrument upgrade one, boop. Yeah, Vines being only on the path to key eight really didn't make that likely to be anything good. And Vesta could have been just like a slam, but... We're now doing what we call the big swim. Getting one Gorillion Bananas underwater. Gonna be up to 30. Besides 30 is enough, where is he getting the last 10? I don't know, Please. okay. It's got somewhere on the mind. Yeah, Ooh. probably. Wait, man, we're going back. <laughs> There's five in the mushroom, and then... Is there five on the way to the mushroom? Yeah, Did he already get the center... Five. He might already have... He might not have the center five yet. I'm not sure if he has the center three port. By peg. I was not paying attention. Oh, he did. yeah. Did he not grab three pad? I guess not. Generic is off to... checking the, the house. Generic's off the production room, though. See what we can find in factory here. Doing a little instrument play to kill the Kasplat and then peek what he drops. Love this. This Kasplat is a, he's a heartbreaker. Very annoying. It's it's the mo it's the worst feeling ever when he's got something and you know you then have to climb production for it. It's just like ah oh, yeah. It's twenty times worse if you don't have a gun or oranges or an instrument yet. And you're just oh, staring too. at him and you're like we're gonna do this. And then he just decides to give you the business. I no am scared of Kisplats. I do wake up every day and think about those. No saving seeds. Uh, yeah, and then Etiquette here gonna grab this free little fairy banana. Kind of curious to see what we pull in, uh, in Factory here. Diddy gets you chunky, so definitely looking at Diddy's metal really hard. The spring check had nothing. I'll be interested in the storage room vines check. That could give you chunky. Give us to be right. It's a metal, in the, a metal in the crusher room. Mm, generic decides that's not good enough. We don't really have anything pointing at jetpack yet. Best it could be is like key four, I wager, but yeah, I know uh, Lanky's Isles DK. Just like which DK check do we think it is? Oh wow, that's actually tricky. We've seen the Crime Isle coconut check. We've seen the factory bongos check. Have we seen the caves lobby strong con check? Don't believe so, right? I mean, it has to be there, right? It can't be Helm Lobby. Did, you, did we not peek it? I don't think anyone looked at it. No, oh, yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, no, they just sprinted directly up, right? It could be a, ta a, ta a calculated move, because at this point, could be. how many options are there? There's yeah, right, else. exactly. So. We're going to peek this. We are, she's a metal. It's forced time. Uh, factory is now more open, right? Uh, factory is more open. The testing gate is open, but a lot of the time people just like come down to storage anyway. So yeah, I, th I think I it's like kind the, of a wash. The, the way the route is, it is, it depends on like it lets you go over there if you know right <laughs> something's over there. But when you probably want to go to production to get the going to production first gives you production peaks. It was not forced tiny metal. Interesting. Oh 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 oh! Did he? <laughs> no. <laughs> did he? Did he have oh. trouble with the cardboard? This game is just it, it, the the corners of objects in this game are an absolute. Crime to try and 
ledge grab on is insane. Tiny potion, hang on. Oh, hold up, hold, hold, chat, hold. Dueling tiny potions. Grape on one side. Grape shooter. And Gorilla Gun on the other. I think Gorilla okay. Gun. Both, both great pickups. I think Gorilla Gun won there. Well done. And that is not what our factory shop center are pointing at. Our factory shop center are pointing at key five. This Gorilla Gun is on the path to key eight, so this is not it. We need to find another factory shop to find key five. Oh, I just realized how loaded Cranky is. I wasn't looking at etiquette. Oh, whoa. Ponytail Twirl, and then he's got one more. He's got, a, I think, a Lanky was. Oh, wow. And Generic got the... the uh, Cranky will give you a little bit of a hint on Jetpack on whether or not it's useful or not. In this case, he called it a foolish little game, so Jetpack okay, okay, is dead. Okay. Yeah, Cranky over there just being like, We're on the up and up now, DK! Yeah. I've been cooking them up lately. Today, Jetpack is a uh, frivolous enterprise. We shall not be seeing it. Going on up. We know that uh, lanky forest uh, mushroom ground towns are important, but we can't do that yet, obviously. Nothing on a uh, nothing on Donkey's Metal either. So we're kind of banking on Diddy's Metal being good in forest, or it's for a Kong we don't have yet, which would be mildly inconvenient. Man, those oh. crates are so... Oh, the double gear! Funky, Funky Kong, hold up, hold up. Give me the goods, give me the goods, brother. Key four. Key four, key five. Factory, factory looking like the right play here. <laughs> factory looking it, well, yeah, real good. Yeah, objectively. <laughs> this is man versus nature. Factory is much better than forest. I think it's going to have to make some work happen out of that, uh... Out of that grape and twirl, or else, uh... Factory's looking pretty nice. And even still, I think Generic is pretty likely to end up back in Forest to, get, to dig up metals at some point. There's no way you don't find that shop that is loaded with three vials. Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna buy this banana. This, you know, it's in the way. It's, Might as well grab it. it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Fast GBs at this point. I mean, you got five keys in your pocket. You have five keys in your pocket, a decent lead on key six, and, it, and key seven also has a pretty decent lead. Our leads on key seven are barrels and Aztec metals. We also have hinted kosha dirt, which really screams key seven to me. Like either key, yeah. either key seven is on a boss, or actually trombone could be on a boss, or key seven is just on the. Uh, oh, hello, chunky, that is spring locked. Hello, how do you do? Uh, you know, spring locked. Let me put on my glasses. Oh, Not spring locked. Day. There we go. Mm -hmm. Grab it now. Mad maze ball. Will we get a clean maze? Doesn't look like a particularly difficult one. Doesn't doesn't look like it. We should be good. Ooh, that's a quick little spring bypass. We're at spring for Chunky. Something to keep in mind. We're going to have a, a spring way of the horde for possibly trivial reasons. But we're coming up on Diddy Force Metal here, so let's see what etiquette pulls off of this. If this is like Rocket Barrel, that's like the best thing it could be. Yeah, it's funny. If that, that last Diddy Potion was instead of a Chippy Charge into a Spring, this would make a little bit more sense. But now it's just like, oh, spring, Spring's going to be hit at us somewhere. It is a metal for a Kong we do not possess. And speaking of Kongs that we do not possess, Chunky is on the way for Generic, so... Love that. We got the boy. Edgar pulls so now up. Just missing Lanky, which is uh, almost assuredly behind Strong Kong. I don't have oranges either, so we can't even uh, oh, force it if we get. But Edigan has Twirl. You can definitely make that gap with Twirl Ooh. in Cave's Lobby. You're a genius, but we we do need a uh, punch, right? Punch is the big ticket item. And Edigan is off the factory. Making sure there has not been new uh, Simian science of us just phasing through that. Not quite, not quite. And Edigan is off the factory, so he's going to catch up real quick. Get the goods. I imagine Generic will end up in Forest pretty quickly. I really wonder where that Strong Kong is. It could be something we are going to be counting the 16. We are going to do our algebra. Time. We have the forest lanky mushroom slam hinted as well. So whenever we get lanky, we got to go back to forest. So yeah, we got to go back to forest for that and whatever's on cranky. So a lot of reasons to go back to forest. How's our counting going? I looked at chat and it's a war zone. You're you're doing great. Seagull with the big 28. Somebody ban that guy. Hi. Whoa. Huge. <laughs> Massive. We're counting backwards, upwards. I don't even know. Galleon Chunky Get Chest, it. right? Forest Boss! Alright, that's a huge hint. That might yeah, be our trombone. Boss. Donkey Diddy Lanky for K Rule, no surprises there. Cave Shops to Lanky K Rule. Interesting. Where do we pull out of the Cave Shops? 
There's a second potion! It's trombone, it's punch lock. That is our... The, the punch lock shop has something. Interesting, interesting. Oh dear. Well, that's awkward. You gotta go back there. <laughs> yeah, right. So we, we know we have to go back to the forest, we also have to go back to caves. Punch is looking like a pretty important item now. It locks away the horde. It locks... A, it directly locks away the Horde of Galleon, our one potion in the uh, caverns. And I know we've Etiquette peaked that shop, right? Etiquette did not peak that shop, but with that hint, you'll know I'm missing something in the cave shops because two things got hinted, and I am only in possession of one. So he'll know he has to go back there, and if he puts two and two together, it's like, oh yeah, there's that punch lock shop. That pesky hey, guy. Hey, we're gonna track that out with the little car, fella. How's he doing today? Here's the other car race. I'm kinda, I was kind of hoping somebody would check the castle car race, but that just hasn't happened yet. But metal, we're doing it. Jetpack all the way. A, a foolish jetpack, no less. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, I just want to play jetpack. Okay? Oh, we need punch for kosher dirt, too. Punch is a huge item. I'm thinking punch is going to be our thing on the Aztec metal. We have an Aztec metal hinted at key 7, key 8, and lanky K rule. I think punch would fit the bill really well right there. You're, yeah, I think that's fitting it. Oh, also be oh like a... the zinger behind the pole. That's the worst position you could be in. That was so much coverage of the game. Another issue we might run into, Hunky Chunky being required for Kosher Dirt. You can bypass it with Hunkless, and I imagine both of these guys know how to do that, but that is going to be possible bait on a way of the Horde as well. We're just going to buy this GB. Nothing interesting in the candy shop that replaced Snides and Factory. A bit of an awkward location to get to. It's just kind of in like a dead end. Yeah. Not you can peep it, though, right, from behind the window if you want yes. to? Yes. Not really seen in Season 2, because why would you ever go there? It's just, like, super out of the way. There's better snides. Yeah, you only come here... I don't know, you're down bad for green bananas for some reason at this point. <laughs> right, I think uh, Generic is wrapping up at Factory, though. He's going to check Chunky Production, then probably Bail. I can't imagine there's anything else to do here. Where do you suppose he goes? Probably back to Forest to get the Forest Boss out of the way? I wonder who checked Forest Boss in their first visit. That'd be interesting. Whoever did, may... It may come away with an advantage. Dude, that banana fairy is in dire straits and we're not going to help her. Alright team, I'm not going to lie. We've been seeing a lot of fairies, but nobody has looked at BFI. Are we scared? How scared are we of BFI? I'm a little scared, person. I'm a little scared, but I don't have any reason to be scared. So, make of that what you will. She's magic, she'll be fine. That's the attitude. True. True. I mean, these cars can take a beating. That much has been abundantly made abundantly clear. I mean, look at the look at the crusher room. These guys are forcing their way through the crusher room all the time. You don't see the Kongs complaining. They're made of they're built different. They're made of sterner stuff. They, they kind of complain. They go like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like they're doing it. They're just like, I live for this ditty. They do be making noises like that. I'll give you that. <laughs> It is not Forest Tiny Metal, fortunately. It's not any of the metals that we currently own, so it has to be Chunky's Metal or Lanky's Metal, and we don't have Lanky. So let's see what Chunky's Metal turns up. As yeah, Generic climbs the start. mushroom, as Generic climbs the mushroom, he will find the Forest Chunky Metal, and we'll see what comes of it. Just leave him. Oh, man. If you, oh, if you look at the... Oh, wow. There's some serious problems to be had here, depending on what's on this Forest Boss. There's a lot of really annoying show. things you could see here. You could see a red vial, at which point you're like, I guess I have to go for it, but it could be spring, which would be horrendous. You could see a green vial, which you have to go for it, but it could be hunky chunky, which you could probably skip. For sure. But you have to go for it, because if, if it's punch, it's massive. Etiquette chuckling to himself, buying enough keys for the Keyblade War over there for Funky. Indeed. Love to see that. I don't suppose we know what level 5 costs. I don't think either of them checked it. No, neither of them peaked yet. And, uh, Generic is, uh, scooping up the goods in Forest. He's found the, the Shop of Legends with three vials in it. Oh, banana. Oh, banana. Love that. <laughs> That's such a good sound effect. Shoutouts to the music people. Oh. Those guys are geniuses. Etiquette is now, uh, checking Chunky. Oh, yeah. Chunky on the way for Etiquette. That'll be helpful. Hold on. I'm waiting on the live Etiquette reaction. I'm, I'm staring at the face. Probably not too much of a surprise, considering it is... Not, not a big surprise. It is hinted for Diddy and Factory, so there's no real surprises. Come on. You gotta, you gotta react to the stream. Need a little bit of a pog face for the, for the chunk, man. Come on. Mm -hmm. What do you think this is? Yeah, 
Yeah, just be metal skipping over. We do know Jetpack is foolish, unfortunately. Makes sense. I'm I have I am certain that this seat is not short on surprises for us yet. The forest boss was an unpleasant one, but I'm sure there will be perhaps some pleasant surprises. Hopefully only pleasant surprises. We live in the good worlds. Naturally, as we do here on the stream. Only good thoughts. We, we on the stream believe in vibes. Tudos inserting the main character into the stream. I'm scared. So much for good thoughts. It's all over for us, team. <laughs> Generic dude is now uh, climbing the tree. He's getting the, the chunky metal. Indeed. I am Boss very interested in what is on this chunky metal. Although I think he's going to be a little short. I don't think he quite has enough yet. Oh, he skipped the, the lower section of the tree, so he's definitely going to be short here. I'm not sure where he's going to make this up. Five pack here? I mean... Jumped over the banana bomb. Yeah, he's gonna, go. He'll come back for him in the second visit, but I think he has to go to the lower section of the mushroom in order to clear. And it gets counting again. Hang on. Chad, did we improve on our second visit? Tudos, Tudos lead the people. Two? Wait, hold up. We're doing it. Oh Three, my god, we're doing four, it. Nope. Eight! Oh, it's off the rails! <laughs> Eleven <laughs> team! Oh. All we know how to do is play monkey game. We don't know how to count. Timing is hard, man. It's so tough. And your reward is a GB. I mean, there are worse rewards. We're not we're not too unhappy with GBs. Let's take a look at our, our GB count right now. We've got Etiquette at 19 with 4 blueprints and Generic at 18 with 3 blueprints. Pretty close, all things considered. It's hard to give one the edge over the other. They're kind of backtracking other stuff. They're, or they're kind of backtracking stuff that the other guy's done right now. Ooh. Generic comes up 5 short for Chunky. He's going to have to go find a 5-pack somewhere. Probably the bottom the of the only, mushroom, but... The only uh, moves that are really different here is that, uh, that Etiquette randomly found Chimpy Charge, right? Uh, it was Chimpy Charge in the mills, right? In, on Spider Boss, that's right, yeah. 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 Uh, unclear if Generic will ever check the Spider Boss. It's really awkward, but it's not even in oh. logic yet, so maybe it's not that scary. Generic dude's just rushing Forest Boss, makes sense. Love this. I imagine you come to the Chunky Metal at the end, right? You're not going to forget the Chunky Metal because yep. it is very loudly hinted that forest metals are very important. This could be Mad Jack because we pulled force out of it, or we pulled Twirl out of a force shop. Interesting. True. Thank, thank you, Dad. Very smart. Let's see what we got here. Well, it's Diddy, so it's not. I think it's more likely a Barrel's boss, though, for, like, Trombone. I think that's the most likely scenario. Purple. Okay. Purple. Feather or sax here? You're always doing this. this yeah, you're doing this a thousand percent of the time. This great item, great time. item, but... Hmm. It's not even a barrels locked boss, so you're gonna have to reconcile that somehow. Duffish. You just gotta fight this guy. Maybe this is sax for helm, that'd be awesome, but... Maybe it's feather for something entirely different, who knows. <laughs> well, we will just have to see. See if we can keep this fish clean. Let's see what it's funny to me that on, you know, our modern, a definite, definitely real N64s that we're all playing this on, uh, that I feel like we can actually see the fish. Whereas, if, like, on a crusty old TRT, this whole fight I felt like was kind of invisible, especially behind the lightning strikes. <laughs> it has been enlightening to play DK64 on a TV that wasn't made in the 80s. That's for sure. Massive puff toss hater here. That's a stand I can get behind. <laughs> we, at least we have two melons to work with. That's that's not that bad. Not so bad. I did not see the Aztec number. I think it did a nice little backflip to look at it, but I didn't see it. I wonder if he's going to go in there. Pretty tempting to go start poking through metals there, but equally tempting is going back to the Way of the Horde Forest boss that is directly hinted. I don't know, maybe somebody caught that number. I didn't catch it. Yeah, did anyone catch that? You know, see, that was such a fast check. Probably not super important. We'll figure it out as we go. But he was he, twenty and just left, which maybe. Could be. What I did like is that he went to Aztec Lobby to press his advantage. He wanted to to use his charge that he got out of absolutely nowhere. So, sure. pretty nice pickup there. He didn't pull anything from it. It was literally junk, but that's something. Twenty three GBs. Thank you. Tudos wants to to know is Puff Toss a good boss? Yes or no? Uh, oh, cool. key. That was a key from the spot. That was key six. Key six in... That was a uh, Galleon Lobby. In Galleon Lobby. 
Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, because I was, I was, I was like, we have something hinted for key six. How is that not the case? But it, it was Jape's Forest Lobby's hinted for key six, and Galley Lobby falls in there. And sure enough, Chunky's Metal is our winner today, and it has peanuts. Okay, love that. So peanuts on the path to key eight and Diddy K rule. I mean that makes sense. Maybe it's just like a hell mini game for peanuts. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I meant Galleon like lobby seven, lobby, lobby seven. But... Yes. Oh, was it seven? Okay. Thank you, team. It was lobby seven. Um, I'm I the fool. Good save. Uh. Also, I you know I know the community is divided. Uh. I know that uh we have many uh, a brother and sister has fallen over this very conversation topic. I don't think the puffer fish that bad of a boss. I think he's all right. I think it's fine. Totally fine. Of all the DK64 bosses, I think he's above average. That's not to say that Puff Toss is like an incredible boss, a pinnacle of game design. That's more of a commentary on how some of the other bosses are pretty bad. <laughs> and, and yes, I do agree that the Caves boss music completely slopes, for sure. I think it's one of the you know, behind-the-scenes interview, Grant Kirkhope just like, I decided to go hard for that one, mate. <laughs> uh, he decided to go hard in a lot of spots. There's some crazy stuff going on here. Oh, Jenner's almost taking a tumble with her, buddy. <laughs> Right back here, here. Hmm. Off. Yeah, it makes sense. Right, right like we just said, Etiquette going to be rushing the forest boss here. Castle. What was the forest boss reward? I totally blanked. It was... Uh, I also missed it. I don't know I missed that. It was... Did we all miss that? It was Sax. <laughs> Sax, okay, okay. Oh my god, I'm just looking at trackers just like, oh my god, what the heck? Saxophone, perfect. We need that. We need that for Helm. No yeah. surprises there. 20 bananas now inside of generic, dude. Generic's running back to Castle. I wonder what he's looking for here. Etiquette gonna be fighting objectively the greatest boss ever created in a video game. Meanwhile, generic dude going back to Castle. Mm -hmm. Poking around. There's nothing hinted in Castle at all. Yeah, Actually, I, was, nothing. I was just thinking that, right? I'm like, where are we going? Maybe not, just checking the shops? Nothing positive, nothing negative. No information from Castle. This is a bit of a gamble, I think. I am a little bit more interested in clearing out, well, whatever level 5 is. He hasn't even looked at how much level 5 costs. I would be much more interested in going to Aztec and trying to get medals out of there. Possibly yeah, find dude, out punch. I mean, I feel like you gotta have eyes on the prize for Aztec right now, right? Like, that's the... Have we yeah. gotten anything yeah. on Forest Metal yet? Yes, we got Peanuts off of Chunky's Metal. True, sorry. Man. And Peanuts is just simply an end point to the DDK roll path, so that may just simply be the end of it. We don't really have any leads on Rocket Barrel then, unfortunately. We got more hints for Generic, though, so let's see what he pulls here. Forest Shops. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, great. Great. That could be a lot of stuff. 7, 8, and DDK roll. So there's a, maybe a Rocket Barrel lead there. Must be, actually. Five Tunnels Foolish. Caves Funky Shared. That was Vines. And then Factory Shops Key 4. Yeah, no surprises there. Alright, not a ton of information there. Really, the only interesting thing is the the forest shops that we gotta deal with now. We pulled Toro out of the shop, we pulled Grape out of the shop. So one of those two is a pretty important item. And will probably lead us to Punch. So far, this little dive from Dude has been uh, kind of nothing candy, had just a metal. We had a logic for Toro or anything? I'm trying to figure out how an Aztec metal might get in the way here. Because Grape is not likely to... No, it can't be for anything for an Aztec Metal because it's Diddy K rule, not Lanky K rule. They're different path goals. Ooh. Well, this is getting weird. We got a little parallel parallel path running. Oh, boy. Clearing out the trash can. Are, is Genetic just trying to get bananas? Could be. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. You gotta get to 60 at the end of the day, so just doing stuff to... Doing stuff for the sake of doing stuff is pretty good, I wager. I think uh, Eddie gets pulling his... Five pack of bananas in that room. I was gonna say metal, but he pulled me off. I suppose. <laughs> I'll be owned, I guess. All right, finally we're gonna look at the car race here. Cop! Oh, did you see that back off? Good fade away. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on wow. there, was, partner. Slow down. That was the most steadily aimed coconut shot of all time. The sheriff is here to cease your actions. That was really the, the DK surefire. I only need one shot. Need. Get the banana here. Gonna be checking out the race. All right, let's have a look at this car race that I desired. 
He might even get that medal here. I guess he's going to the top anyway, so... I think it's Snides at the top. I didn't... I'm not sure I caught which shop was at Cranky's, but I think it's Snides up there. Just one more thing to juggle those shuffled shops. It's a little tricky. Dolman in if nothing... Well, that ain't worth doing that for. Nope. I feel like that minigame in particular is the most, like, this feels like a Toy Story game for the PlayStation 1. It, uh, it, it does seem like a weird theme. I don't know how they, or why they wrangled it. I guess they were just like, we need, we can put another car race here, but we don't have the time to make another car race track. So I guess we're just going to reuse, oh, let's just pick oh, the entirety of Frantic Factory. Perfect. Etiquette now getting his pop guns. The foretold. Excellent. What do we do with that? I don't know. Uh, uh. Right. <laughs> uh, Etiquette now going straight to Aztec. Maybe. Maybe? No. Oh, going over here. What's, what is over here in the bar? It's just a banana. Some good discipline. Do your aisles checks, folks. Your aisles checks are highly rewarding and will pay off all the time. I would highly recommend. Even going so far as roof dirt. I love this. Uh, aisle checks are the Flintstone gummies of the community. They hold us, in, they hold us together, you know? They're just always available. And that's counts for a lot, as it turns out. He can get him catching, catching up on his 22 pack of hands. Oh, I actually blinked and Jared opened up a little bit of a lead on GBs. A small lead, but a little bit of a focus on GBs kind of mattered. Yeah, and right. now he's headed to Aztec. Now they're going to be able to go straight Aztec. They're Aztec Turbo. Whatever the value was. Oh, the value was 23. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Sarah. Good find. So they can both get in. Or ooh, Etiquette is almost there. Eti I think Etiquette might be like fishing for one more thing. Oh, and one more thing is right here, the sax pack. Oh, here. yeah, they can check the sax check. Yeah, punch. This is a punch seed. It's DK. K. D. K. So, God, I love that the song. big question here <laughs> is will we find punch in Aztec, or at least something to get us there? Surely, right? Like, surely. 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 Of course, right? It's gotta be, right? It, it just makes too much sense. It, like, has to be here. Wait a minute. You can't check this room without Strong Kong. You're not allowed. Oh, my God. They'll catch I mean, you for this. More than one way to skip... Or, you can skip Strong Kong in every circumstance. I'm trying to think of one <laughs> where you right. actually need it. I get, you can skip Strong Kong here if you can hold a controller. <laughs> like. Yeah. Well, actually, it's in logic with Twirl, so... Hold yes, on. Yes, yeah. The logic, the logic police is here, and I'm, I'm, we're good. Price is averted. <laughs> the logic police have gone downhill. Yeah, we're, we're fine. No, 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 no. This, is, this is all, it's all above board. Wow, they're actually both anastic at the same time. This is kind of funny. It's truly remarkable how this game ends up caught leading high fives like hours into seeds. People end up at the same yeah. spot every time. It isn't K rule, you know. Obviously, they have to finish in K rule, but the big divergence here because they basically both checked like the same stuff at this point. Uh, the only really big divergence was that like dude decided to go out of his way to just get some like where they ID'd the fastest random bananas they could get possible. Yeah. To get into Aztec. Other difference is charge. That's charge. about it. Charge is not massive, to be honest. You'd like to. Charge, charge could be, unfortunately, the opposite. Of of, of all the red vials, that might have been the worst one to find. We're here at the International Bank of Chunky. Click 25 bananas. It really is a, a gold mine, isn't it? That is a... That is a speedy oh, boy. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa there. Whoa there, partner. Slow down. <laughs> that was so scary. And with the back of Aztec open in these settings, you can just roll right back there and carry on. So Generic's choosing to clear out Tiny Temple, but I think it is just running straight to the back. I don't hate either move here. Clear out some metals. Makes sense. I mean, uh, generic dude here. Uh, cannot check Vulture, obviously. They don't have the, the warm body. But he'll get a bunch of Diddy bananas in here. I guess with Peanut, you're not really hurting for him. You get the Chunky bananas here, too, though. He'll be able to get Chunky's metal by the time he gets to the totem area. Yeah, exactly. It, it, going in here is like almost always a Chunky Diddy banana play. It's like. pretty good, yeah. Especially because, uh, you know, the value of this place went down just a little bit because now arenas aren't important. The igloo has one potion. Factory chunky metal. And then factory metal rewards. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold, We're hold, going. Up, hold up. That might be enough to turn you around and go back to factory. I'm not going to lie. 
All right, and James Metals has two potions. Whoa. This is a lot of scouring hints. That is our fifth scouring hint. That is a lot of information on where potions are in this seed. We're scouring, dude. That's really interesting. That is... That might be enough to turn you around and go back to factory, because the chunky metal is a little bit out of the way. But chunky metal on the path to key 7, key 8, and lengthy key Oh, one? wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Aha! Strong Kong! The mystery is solved. We have found our Strong Kong. That puts... Or will put chunky... Or will put lanky in logic when we find punch. So... That's... That's good to have. It wasn't necessary, but it's certainly good to have. You no longer have the, the dangling threat of a Way of the Horde Strong Kong. Or you, you no longer have that threat dangling over you. Yeah, nice that. We're getting a Beetle Race check. This is kind of sick. You can do this entirely. If Beetle Race is important here. That would be so funny. What a redemption arc for Timmy Charge. Oh, Etiquette, you can use the Beetle Race? But you want to see it? All right, Aztec Metals, we're getting Diddy's Metal here. Nope, fell right. Okay, one more tree. Blueprint on the Llama, nothing. Blueprint? Sorry, Llama. We're all over Throwing the place here. The Don't forget this crate back here. This crate is pretty easy to forget about. Also easy to forget about is the crate literally on top of the Llama Temple that you need Rocket Barrel for. Very easy to miss that. Wow, he raises the tower and then decides that it's too slow to actually go check what's on the Beetle. That is a little bit surprising. You need Rocket Barrel and Logic, true, but also isn't Tiki Charge still out of Logic right now? Yes, actually, until we find Feather. Right. So that, that, that's all entirely out of Logic. Oh, boy. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. He, he does have sex. That's on me, team. And he ran back for the Force Boss for sex. I'm, I'm asleep with the wheel. Wake up, wake up. <laughs> It's a lot of information coming at you fast when you're watching two different people try to play. It's it really sometimes is. hard enough to keep your one up straight when you're the only one playing. Why do I do this? This is a lot of fun here. A lot of fun here down on dk64randomizer.com. Hey, drop a follow, why don't you? Oh my god, a follow? A like? A comment? A subscription? Oh my wait, god! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh! <laughs> don't stop me now! Going down yonder tunnel. So now they're going to be able to check out the uh, the back area here that Etiquette kind of like turboed straight in. Right, just buying some GPs from old candles. Very unimpressed with this Aztec so far. We have found a grand total of um, Bupkis. We got Strong Kong. That's about it. Yeah, we, we are strong and that's all. You know, actually, that might even be good, right? If you're just looking for GPs to just start piling up, right? We probably need to get into... We need to get into Galleon for something that's punch locked. So, we definitely want to. We're going to need a lot of Nothing. GBs to get into Galleon. I don't know if we saw that number. Oh, I don't know if we did either, did we? Hmm. Maybe not. I just looked over when they checked the, the splat. That was always like. Primate punch on the chunky metal that is massive. There it is. The Generic is... dude is now punching, and they've got the Strong Kong, so they're probably going to be hitting that Lanky on the next immediate frame. And with punch, that makes your factory metal easier to get, too. It's probably yep. not required or anything. Well, what could it be? It has to be Hunky Chunky there, right? Or something that gets you Hunky Chunky? Yeah, almost certainly. Chunky would be... Hunky Chunky would be the clean one. If if we are ascribing Key 7 to Kosha Dirt, it has to be there. It, 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 you would have to have Hunky Chunky in that metal. But then the Hunky Chunky, something would be on the path to a whole bunch of weird stuff. It's a little weird. I'm kind of wondering what the heck is on that metal. Oh, you know what it is? It's Pineapple. What? You need Pineapple to logically get Chunky's metal. So true, pi true, 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 true. Pineapple is on the factory Chunky metal, and that would be on the path to this punch, and it all just comes together. Perfect. Excellent. Oh, yeah, it's all coming together. Now, what things about this is etiquette... Uh... Yeah, they have to come back here in order to get the the rest of the bananas for Chunky. Right. He hasn't seen that. he hasn't seen anything interesting on metals yet. I believe there's no. yeah there, there's nothing on metals otherwise. So he's coming he's coming to get that. He may even find Strong Kong, but he might also just bail with Punch because Punch is Punch is definitely your your winner here. God, it would be so funny if he just bailed on Punch and then and like, skipped I think, over to Lanky when Strong Kong is literally right over there. I think Generic is is smelling the gas, so he is collecting as many GBs as he can. He's buying blueprints at this point. We're turning on the jets here. 
There's plunge. I know what you mean, but saying generic is smelling the gas has a different connotation. I am... Oh, all right, oh yikes. <laughs> Cutting the cheese, if you will. Generic is over here huffing the paint, if you catch my thing. <laughs> going in. That's going to be strong I've... calling clean and easy. Dude, it's actually so funny how close together those were now, right? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was like, how do I get lanky? I need strong Kong and punch. Oh. <laughs> I have this nasty habit of throwing two idioms together that don't make any sense, and I just kind of roll with it. <laughs> Generic doesn't know, uh, indeed uh, know the smell of the game. And uh, oh, dude, etiquette immediately is like, give me that funny clown man. I want him now. I, you need him for lanky kid roll, so uh, yeah, you better go get him. And yeah, they're both after him. This is where he has to be. No other option. Yeah, you may as well do it with Strong Kong. You do a twirl, and some people might do it. I was gonna say, what a flex it would be if you actually switch it when there's also a Kasplat check over here. Yeah, you're definitely gonna come for this Kasplat anyway, so it's like, well, you know what? You may as well just do it with Strong Kong just so you don't have to even think about it. And Vin Diesel presented 54 minutes, and Generic is like 10 seconds behind him. We have to this rescue is a... Lanky from hell. <laughs> He's oh, boy. The... <laughs> oh, boy. This is going to be a spicy one. Because now you run in Gudu Kosha Dirt. You don't need Hunky Chunky. You can skip Hunky Chunky. Hunkless, aptly named. You put the small boulder on the big boulder pad, and it just works. Wouldn't you know it? It just works. They're both off to do it right now. And with Punch, we get to go see what is on that shop over at, uh... Over at uh, the Snide location, the Punchlock shop. It's got to be Trombone, right? It's got to be. Yeah, both of them doing the... I, co I colloquially call this check the fastest check I've ever seen in my life at Ruby Gorilla Gone. Oh, yeah. Just a quick and easy one. Okay, we got to do a... We, we need a quick uh, assessment on how much stuff we're missing to beat the seed. We need Trombone, Rocket Barrel, and Guitar. I think that's it, right? Three things. And key seven. Four things. Key seven. Key seven, which is heavily hinted at to be uh, dirt, right? Right. Of the four things, which we, we have can, we have we three... Can, yeah. Okay, it is trombone on the punch rock shop. Perfect. Oh, fall in the water. Drop the boulder. Oh, see ya. There's trombone. Players. I've got a, you know, I've got an opinion. We should be able to hit a toggle button to make the, uh... Make it so that the, the game is suddenly emulated as it was in the N64, just so we can jump over those gaps as chunky easier. <laughs> Can I just make the game 4 FPS for a second on the button? Pop a, a quick lag switch, no big deal. Yeah, no no big deal. Love that. No, nobody would nobody would rat me out, right? No, 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 no. All good, all good. Actually, you know, cool. what is that ghost doing? Oh, he was, he was respawning. I thought that ghost was freaking out. He's trying, he's trying. Well, it's funny, you know, the, the game has built-in lag switches. It's, they're called oranges, so. True, but we don't have those. Simple enough. It's very depressing. Uh... Okay, Generic is also missing key six, but he has a pretty good lead on it, so it's not really a big deal there. Uh, but of our four things remaining, we have three Way of the Hordes that are unresolved. I am treating the Factory Chunky Metal as resolved as Pineapple. I'm just assuming it is Pineapple. And Etiquette pulls up the barrel. That's a that's a brutal one. And he takes a dive. It's just all going south right now. Dude, you hate to see it. Getting completely owned by this, boulder. this is the ice physics of DK64 at play. Please note that he is walking on solid ground that is not ice. The game is just naturally very slippery. Yeah, the, the, ga the whole game is just ice physics. Now that I think about it, do you actually need to put the boulder on the small pad first? I don't even know if you do. If you're going to take the small boulder over anyway, do you actually have to break the... I don't think the, the, the rotating thing isn't there if you don't do that, right? You might want you might want to break it for the small GB, for the small bananas anyway, so... Oh, it's, it, no, no, it also... It doesn't spawn... The switch isn't there. It spawns the switch? Yeah, it's not there. All right, everyone's saying yes, and... So I'm going to take that to mean you're not all gaslighting me. I'm gaslighting you, but nobody else is. Okay, uh, okay thank you. <laughs> Generic dude actually making up so much time here by just getting over with the boulder. Yeah, some... Bit of, a, bit of an execution error from etiquette. I mind the gap here. That was so unfortunate. If you pick up the boulder near a wall like that, it'll just blow up. The boulders are both very sturdy and very fragile. They're sturdy enough to be able to place on the large spot, the large pads like that, and it just works. I've never understood why the boulders explode. Like, like they're gunpowder boulders. I like to think that somebody at Rare just kind of like made that animation and everyone had a hearty chuckle at the office and was like, yeah, we're keeping that. 
Yeah, I like that. We're, we're not getting rid of that. <laughs> I think that describes the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kosha How Dirt. How should this boss have? Eh, maybe seven. Yeah, sounds great, mate. So, long theorized to be key seven. Is this indeed key seven? Yeah, we'll find out here. And it's going to be also the, uh, the potion. Oh, yeah. That is the trombone. Here. It is indeed key seven. All right. Yep. Excellent. As foretold. Logic. Good job in the logic there. Huzzah. It just kind of made sense. Generic is kind of thinking, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? You have three things remaining to find. You have guitar... You have Rocket Barrel, and you have Key Se or Yeah, Guitar, Rocket Barrel, and... That's oh, just two things, then. Guitar and Rocket Barrel. We also need quite a lot of bananas. <laughs> and you have two unresolved Way of the Hordes. That's it. You have a lanky, lanky Colored Mushroom Slam, and the Punch Chest and Galleon. One of those could be Hunky Chunky, which is a little bit of a bait. We know where key six is. Key six is in the galleon lobby because Splat. You will just find that. You have to go. Yeah. You're going to go into galleon to check the punch chest pretty soon, I think. Yeah, key six is free. So as far as I can tell, you want to rush to sixty, and then you are one thing short of being done with the seed. So let's see what. Let's see if our hints can solve us. Forty is our last hint. Cave's tiny monkey party glue. Oh, I didn't even see that. What the heck? Factory shops the key was that would be gorilla gone, and then I think there was one more hint I missed. It's probably junk. It's fine. So the monkey port glue is way the horde. What the heck is the monkey port hint? Or what the heck is the monkey port glue? I don't. I, we haven't seen it. Go do it. Let's go. Yeah. And etiquette yeah, leaves. Etiquette didn't even look at it. Oh no! Etiquette didn't even look. Etiquette. Gosh, they have AirPods in. Oh no! <laughs> Not the AirPods. All right, but he's going back to factory to go get the factory chunky metal, which is going to be a little bit awkward when he pulls it. As far as we can tell, I don't think we need that pineapple. In the back banana here, doing some shopping. Generic dude, generally just being pretty aggressive with getting as many bananas as possible because I, I think that they're sussing it out, right? Where it's like the sea is coming to a close as soon as the banana problem is like solved in one more. Okay. Oh, what the heck? I'm thinking now that Hunky Chunky is in the forest shop. And Etiquette is now running back to the last the last forest shop location, I think. I think that's gonna be Hunky Chunky. Cause, oh no, it is, it's Twirl. The hint is talking about Twirl because whatever we're about to pull out of this Monkey Port Igloo is gonna be- We didn't even peek Monkey Port Igloo, right? Like nobody's even looked at it. It's Rocket Barrel. I think it's Rocket Barrel. It was, oh, is it Rocket Barrel? And then Rocket Barrel will get you Hunky Chunky somewhere. Because this, because the the forest shops are on the path to key seven, key eight, and Diddy K rule. We have key seven in our pocket. And we're only on a logic hunky chunky, but the Diddy K rule means I think this is just gonna be Rocket Barrel right here. Bang! And uh, etiquette is gonna. Oh! Be Simeon Spring! Oh, it's Spring! What are you doing? Uh, oh, that's a disaster! That's a disaster! All right, etiquette ran to the wrong room in the mushroom, which is hilarious. But oh, dude. It we're, we've all been there, right? Yeah. Like, absolutely. It is impossible to discern which side. <laughs> Alright, well, we're no longer at a logic for Chunky, which is kind of mind-blowing. Spring just kind of resolved itself there, which is alright. We got there. Yeah, we got there so in the funny. end. No complaints. Nobody complained. What an awful, what an awful late Chunky that was trying to be. <laughs> That's, that is pretty egregious. Um, What is in that forest shop with the... Uh... Alright, here we go. Back to figuring out your hints. What do you do here? I think the there's two things to do. One is the, what Etik is doing right now, which is the Forest Lanky Mushroom Slam, and then the other thing is the Galleon Punch Chest. Generic is trying to figure out where the heck Key 6 is. He's looking at his Key 6 and like, wait, what the heck? My guy, just simply run into Galleon Lobby and you will just find it. It's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. You no, well, yeah, I mean, they're going there now. Wait, no, 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 go left. Yeah. Go, no, 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 wait. <laughs> All right, Vial on the Mushroom on. Slam. Let's see what we got here. After a little Peril Path panic, we're gonna know what it is. Is this the first bonus we've done? It might be. No, we did a maze or two, I think. Oh, you're right. Okay, a couple of them have maze balls. All right, so now they're gonna find key six, and they're gonna be like, oh, thank goodness. Oh, yeah. Oh, silly me. This check is just simply available. You might be thinking the swim, and like, oh my god, I might need two slams, but nope, it's just right here. No muss, no fuss. Don't even have to worry about it. He's busy. And you well, can just run straight. Forty-three bananas already for dude. Wow, and you can just run straight into Galleon. What was that number? I wasn't looking. 
That had uh, to be it was uh, 34. 34 for level 7? That's like super low. Yeah, super low. That's pretty nice. And uh, we have peanuts, so we can open up uh, the lighthouse. His hunky chunky on the mushroom slam. That's really awkward. Ooh. 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 Well, he, okay, but uh, d dude knows that's unresolved. No, no rapid bro. Whoops. Okay, so we need to use... Okay, there's guitar. Guitar is Gazong. one of our... Guitar is a way to hoard that we needed to solve, so there, that makes sense. Nothing else is in the caverns, by the way. There's only one push in the caverns, so... We're good here. We now need to find Rocket Barrel, and our only lead, I believe, is Spring, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, look at that! As soon as you said it, it I made it up. I etiquette. simply made it up. We are in no mode. Rocket Barrel <laughs> is our last piece of the puzzle. We made it up. So how does Grape, Twirl, or Rocket make sense here? It's just Rocket, right? Dude, that's so funny. We've been staring at Rocket the entire time. What is this four shot pinpointing at? I'm lost. Is it not pointing at Rocket? The, well, it's, it must be, right? Peanut or... What was the metal? It was... Chunky's metal? metal for, for Peanut? The metal's Peanuts. And then the, the fr Cranky Forest Shop had uh, Rocket. Right, and you don't need anything for Chunky's Metal and Forest, so it has to be Rocket on that shop. So then how does Rocket get you Key 7? Etiquette one banana over the line there in order to get in. And, I mean, Generic is well over the line. He's well on his way to get to 60 really quick. As long as he remembers to go back to get that Forest Shop, life is good. Oh, O-Stand! Mushroom Jack, he hasn't gotten it. O-Stand! Rocket Barrel has to get you O-Stand somewhere! Oh, that's just so mean. Oh, O-Stand for an Hunky Chunky? Oh, well, that's ugly. Oh, oh, ew. Ew. Oh, ew. Oh, I hate that. Ew, ew. Wait. Wait, why do we keep saying words? Everybody stop saying words. Oh, that's that's, that's not nice. Okay, but we have an unresolved way of the Horde Spring, though. What what do we do with that? Oh, that's for Chunky. That is resolved. Silly me. And it's not related to any pats at all. It's just some rocket barrel check will get you O-Stand, I think. Going up here looking for Sidian checks, I guess? Maybe he didn't realize that it was just pointing at Chunky, but just wants to go deep. I think he's just looking for density. No. Maybe. No. We're no. inward. Looking for treasure. Nothing to worry about here. It's, it's just interesting that they're not rushing what they know is hinted. I mean... What, uh... I think Generic's doing just fine as a... <laughs> I don't know. I don't oh, no, I think you're doing right. It's just... It's an interesting play. Oh, Etiquette isn't running towards the... Oh, yeah, he did. He did run there. He has guitar. He has rock and barrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, etiquette, it's... The, the the place that we are right now, right, is, like, etiquette has more of the necessary checks. There's a little bit more, like, knowledge in terms of he's basically got everything. Generic is just going for density. He knows mm -hmm. pop-up hints. But Generic is well ahead on GBs. Generic is at 40, well 47 GBs plus... How many blueprints does he have? He has 10 blueprints. He's very oh. close to 60. Oh, he's chill. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Etiquette is at 37 GBs and 8 blueprints, so 45 collectively. Generic has been plowing ahead on GBs, and it has paid off big time here. If and yep. only if he returns to the forest shop to get his rock and barrel. We need forest shop and then uh, the, the only other open lead that he has to that they have the result. That's so it. We just need two more GBs. All he has I'd to do. Imagine they just hit the gas here to forest. He's going back to forest. Yes, he is 100%. home free, I think. If he runs this towards the shop, generic dude knows what they're doing. Beautiful. So he picks up his rocket barrel, dumps his blueprints, finds two more GBs, and he goes to helm. Yep, that's it. Love to see it. He's running right to the shop. Yes. <laughs> okay, not right, doing it. <laughs> not not quite right to the shop. Where's he going? Oh, is he doing the? Oh, he's checking this first. That makes sense. I mean, he doesn't he doesn't know, right? Right. It's because it's this is a 50-50. It is a 50-50, and this is Hinted Way of the Horde. The problem is, is there's so, like a, a small mountain of bait it could be. So. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of bait. But I don't know if, uh, I mean, like like we said, like the dude is just so far ahead on oh, bananas that it's like. Bean sighted. Oh, bean. that was bean. The bean is sighted. Oh, Etiquette is not buying it. He's not buying it. Oh, my. <gasps> Boo this man! <laughs> At least Generic didn't see it. At least Generic had the courtesy to not see it. <sighs> Unbelievable. Live on DK64. He knows he's in a huge rush. He is in go mode. He has everything he needs to beat this game. And he's just got to get to 60. I really thought 
you were going to say he just has to get the beam. <laughs> he should, and he does have to. We'll, uh, we'll bully him into getting it later, I'm sure, no doubt. Like these uh, troughs here flying off the road. Or is that scoff? Which, one, which one's which? That's trough. No, that's scoff. I'm assuming oh, okay. that's. <laughs> I'm assuming scoff is the one that's scoffing down the bananas. I think that's scoff. I don't know if it's. It must be stated truly somewhere. Trough, trough is the pig. Is pig. Okay. Got it. We got the lore. Thank you. Thank you for the DA64 lore guys. Well, rare, rare is not shy about naming anything that moves in their games, so. All right, now all generic has to do. Types of content on YouTube. Uh, all all generic know. has to do is not exit the Isles Hero that he just did. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, 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 Chief! Oh my guy, where are you going, Chief? My fella. Oh brother. Well, that's not pretty. Oh, oh, that's so bad. That's totally squandering the lead. It's over. I, I, he just forgot the shop, and that, that might be enough to cost him. No, why are we going back to factory? Oh, factors? hang on, hang oh, on. We're thinking, we're thinking. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Holding that for a hero. He's Dude, going to forest. Yes! He's gotta be tall, he's gotta be strong, he's gotta be fresh in the fight! We're going back to forest! Forest! Oh man. I thought it was over. I, it was when the night was the darkest. He returns to, to Cranky to deliver unto him the goods. There we go. Alright, crisis averted. Yeesh. Welcome back to my lab. I appear to deliver unto you the goods. Yeah, now if he's anything like us. He's going to be very confused when he pulls Rocket Barrel here, but he's going to be very grateful. <laughs> so, he's going to be like, all right. <laughs> like, wait, what? <laughs> How's that Rocket Barrel? I feel like a, huh? <laughs> you know, I'm, my, my hints? Uh, and uh, you know what? That's understandable, but here we are. How do you get going to Jabe's? I mean, if he's looking for GBs, no finer yeah. plays. And now Generic is just going to dump. Does he have enough? He has 11 blueprints, so he's going to have to find one GB. Oh, this is dangerous. I think there's one in Upper Creme, but the Fairy's a potion. And maybe the Sax Pad is one? I don't recall. Oh, he's not dumping. He's buying another blueprint. Oh, he's buying a blueprint. Oh, he may have... Because that's not where Snide is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got owned. <laughs> I, the fool, I've been had. <laughs> Thank you, Shop Location Shuffle. Thank you. <laughs> we, it's so funny that both of our brains just turned off. And we were just like, yes, this is fine. He's dumping... <laughs> we just didn't think anything else this about is, it. This is one way you mix up your seeds, right? You throw in a little Shop Location Shuffle to keep you on your toes. You get a little punch lock shop action. You get a little... Uh, the, the snide room has cranky? That's a classic. Oh, boy. It's a bit I also kind of greatly prefer that as a cranky location. It is certainly nicer to get to, but I, I'm i not going to love... I'm going to level with you. I kind of like it as a snide location a little more. I I would like to dump quickly at the end of my seeds. I would not like to have to do <laughs> the long run all the way back here. Hey, I hear you. Uh, let's let's take down a, a notch here on the dumping. Oh, we're dumping. This is a big old dump. <laughs> this He's is actually this is a massive one here. They're gonna be able to put themselves straight back at sixty. Five blueprints. Dump. See ya. You know, maybe for balancing purposes, you actually should just get one banana at a time. You ever think about that? Uh, it has been considered and rejected. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. I'm, I'm <laughs> right now you, it was considered. Right now it was rejected. I'm, I'm telling you, man. You might be the first person to suggest to make that anim this animation slower. <laughs> it's. But I, uh, while, while they're dumping here and uh, Etiquette is just uh, grabbing some GDs, when I was at uh, the convention MAGFest, there was somebody there playing Donkey Kong 64. And they were like, yeah, I play the rando all the time. And we were both just like, wow, the original game is so much slower. <laughs> we were like <laughs> shocked actually playing out of the console. We were like, oh, holy yeah. moly. Is There's a, like is... cutscenes. It really is. There's so many cutscenes. The, the, the amount of cutscenes that the rando cuts out is frightening. Like, it, it is it is truly staggering how many cutscenes are cut out. Because, like, so many of them are just, like, frivolous, like, gate openings, or every GB dance ever is just unbelievable. Yeah, very early on, right, it was actually, it was a bit of a thing people grumbled about, because like, Splats were kind of, like, overpowered in the yes. initial version of the rando. Yes. So, like, that was a big reason I think that happened. Yeah. Well, it, it got, the, the, the least we could do was speed up the snide animation so they aren't all super long and you get the fastest one every time. 
Frankly, it's also one of the only times in playing the randomizer you get to, like, drink water. <laughs> it's, there's actually so little downtime right. otherwise. Downtime is, I think, maybe a little more of a, a game philosophy decision, but I, I think downtime is important, right? Some moment, some moment of calm to be able to assess your hints. But Helm is not the place that this will happen. Helm is the moment of, oh my god, I'm looking to the race room and seeing who's done. Yeah, the dude oh definitely comfy lead here. Uh, barring catastrophe, they've got basically an entire snide's worth of a lead, right? <laughs> and there's only two helm rooms now, so there's actually not that much seed left. No, just two helm rooms and then 3k rule phases. And there isn't even a tiny k rule phase to slow you down. The seed is all gas, no brakes. You gotta go. <laughs> no cops in the helm. Blessing and a that curse. That does fall in line with potential catastrophe that could happen. Now, you can actually use cops to get a cutscene skip, which is kind of clever. If you get caught fast enough, you can get warped back to the center room, and it's actually faster. You're an absolute genius, never mind. Yeah. It, well, nobody intentionally tried that strat the first time, obviously. It just, you know, when somebody got caught, they were like, oh my god, I'm an idiot, and then it saved them time, and they were like, oh my god, I'm a genius. <laughs> That's so funny. I yeah. did not know that, actually. I, I'm always just so scared of the cop in there. Oh, getting fly swatted! Yeah, your helm progress is is saved when you get caught, so it's not a disaster. Gotcha. It doesn't it doesn't make you redo helm. That would be horrifying. Well right, Nanny is double. Our hitbox has to be one of the worst hitboxes, right? Like, <laughs> I've seen pictures of what that hitbox looks like, and it allegedly matches the the fly swatter, and I don't understand. I just something in my brain just doesn't it doesn't click with whatever it, that picture is telling me so either that picture's lying which i i doubt it very reliable source i got that picture from the most reliable it's or like, uh, this game is weird and i think i'm weird the game is just weird i regret to inform the people <laughs> i regret to inform the people this game we play it's a little weird made in a cave if you would yeah i have heard it was made in a cave you know i uh, do have to agree with it's a cave game with a box of scraps no less Unbelievable. That's a scrap. Dude, and you know, I I don't know if this is true. I heard they didn't have any lights in that game. Wait, what? Unbelievable. Where was Chunky? Chunky uh, was spring uh, check in factory. Blocks. Lock tower. Welcome to bonus stage. Some good old Kremlin couch. Pretty, Pretty uh, standard mini game so far. Nothing crazy. Twenty-eight Kremlin couch. That is that is the long one, but this mini game is just enjoyable. I think. Yeah. It's, except for the except for the fact that the red ones are impossible to hit. I'm... The red ones are they are a jeep on the fastest version. They are just there to waste melons. They really are. You have to like pre-shoot them. If you shoot them, like if you just like see the future, you can get them. But like otherwise, it's impossible. Reacting to them. Good luck. Oh, he got one! Good job on generic dude, never mind. Proving us commentators wrong. They got them young man reaction. There you go. Oh, old generic dudes. Welcome to bonus stage. So let's see. Yeah, pretty easy mini games overall, nothing crazy. Uh, who was in K. Rule again? Our K. Rule is Diddy, Lanky, Donkey in some order. Uh, it might be that. Oh, great K. Rule. Quality K. Rule right there, I'll tell you what. Nice and straightforward. Just a helm room away. A minigame away, even. Yeah, unless they unless they truly struggle to shoot this last one, which they do not. Generic dude is looking clean. But look how close this race is. Great, uh, great job from both these players. There you go. Ooh. That's the last Elm Room, so you get a nice uh, little 15 second wait here as this cutscene fires. Forge. Skippable, but pretty hard. Etiquette is maybe even making up ground. The pressure's on. You're in Helm, man. In Helm and Go Mode in a big race lobby is terrifying. Anyone could Ooh, be done on like any moment. You, you can't be... You, it's hard to imagine that you're the first one in Helm. There's so many good people in this lobby. 20 people... 20 people racing? You really the first to K rule? That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. Oh! Go, go, go! Get in there! Oh, Diddy's second, so... 
Yeah, now I'm, that I'm looking at it, right, nobody else is finished. No one is done. Generic may be the first to K rule. We'll find out in a second. We'll see. We'll get his time when he finishes up K rule, and we'll investigate the lobby afterwards to see how he does. He's in a commandy position against Etiquette, though, so things are looking pretty yeah. good. Again, okay, barring barring major catastrophe. But still, I mean, we're talking like a minute, a minute and a half. I think I had, I think I had it right. Donkey, did he lanky? No, maybe it's Donkey. Donkey did he lanky? Whatever. It's those. It's those rains on order. Yeah, so Fun fact, your multipath hints, if they hint multiple K rule phases, actually put the help the, the phases in the right order. We just didn't happen to have any overlap between Diddy and Blanky K rule. Unfortunate. That's fine. Also, you have to figure out where Donkey is because you won't get hints for Donkey K rule outside of unbelievable circumstances. Everybody loves a good old DK, uh, DK K rule phase. It's it's fantastic. It's a short phase, no requirements. You love to see it. You love to see it. It's also absolutely just turn your brain off as long as you can count correctly and you don't miscount. You say that. You say that. I have to stop what I'm doing and count. Like if I'm mid sentence, I will pause mid sentence to count one, two, three, four. Shoot. It's just like a mental stun. Because if I don't do it, I will, I will, I will mess it up 100% of the time. <laughs> I, I mean, I totally get you. I hear on that front. I will never. Look, and we've seen chat's counting skills today. We we know that it's not just you. You know what's funny? Blue slam did not matter. Hmm. What do you know? Did I just now notice generic dude never got it? He never even got it. He probably saw the vial up there and then just like ignored it, which is an insanely cool move. Cause he he was looking. Actually, no, he might not even be looking at it. He had 60 when he went up to the monkey port pad, so he might have actually just not seen it. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, got the... Okay, so pretty good. Got the quick little recovery. I, I am curious where Ostand is. I think it's Rocket or Lock somewhere. That could be anywhere, though. If I were to hazard a guess, Ballroom is pretty good odds. Um, Vulture is pretty good odds. Decent the, Diddy. Got a little rough at the end there. The crate but, uh, on top of the Llama Temple, pretty good odds. All sorts of options. Hope it gets on Mechfish. It should be on Mechfish. You know what? I think uh, I will reject everything that LaRock just said. I think it's on Mechfish. I'm, I, I'm now trying to figure out if it can be on Mechfish. I think the answer is no. Because it's guitar locked, which is punch locked. Which, well, maybe that makes sense too. No, because Rocket Barrel has to... It could maybe... It maybe could be on Mechfish. All right, I, try, I tried. Well, no. <laughs> no, no, it can't because Peanut isn't on the path to like K rule and Rocket Barrel locks punch. Does it? Oh my god, I'm lost. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Rocket Barrel locks key 7, and Peanut does not lock key 7, so it can't be Rocket Barrel plus Peanut. It has to be one of the two. There has to be only Rocket Barrel, and not Peanut. Oh, that is no. one slip on oh. the big banana peel there. Oh, we're all over the place. Slip one, alright. Lanky phase, take us home. Let's get out of here, generic. Oh, another quick one. Wouldn't you know it, nobody's done yet. He is still, he is still racing for first place. Pressure's on. You're in. You're looking at a race lobby of 20 people, and no one is done. Sell one barrel to go. 30. You're looking at nobody's done, or probably looking at first and second place. Hard to say. This is a fast seed. He's flying through it, and we got a slip here. Show me the money. Generic dude Boom. takes takes first place with a time of 122.17. Shout out to the big generic. Congratulations to him. We'll get him in to talk about this scene a little bit. I gotta say, you might be a generic dude, but that was exceptional. Well done. And Etiquette is certainly not far behind. He has got a phase and a half of K rule. Oh, just one phase left. He just got through Diddy phase. Bang! Yeah. Why? left. It would be crazy if uh, a bunch of other people like finished right before this, but I mean... And we got the DK rap in the credits. Oh, Shots cannon. Kiss. And look at the... Oh. Which one was it again? Trough? <laughs> we got Trough. Trough is flying. Let's go. We're clipping straight into his belly. Scoff. Sorry, sorry. Sorry to the Scoff community. I greatly apologize.
All right, we're gonna go see if we can go steal generic. Regrettably, I inform you because I have his audio, I have to mute him, so. Say farewell to the DK rep, folks. Hasta la vista. King of Yami Makai has indeed finished 123.16. He has barely sniped etiquette. Sniped etiquette straight out under his nose. Oof. That's brutal, but we are joined by our winner of today's weekly generic dude. Morning. Morning, morning. How you doing, King? Chief? I oh, King. King is somebody else. <laughs> yeah. I... I just went to where the checks were. I don't. I don't know. You just. You just. It just simply works. It. It simply works. The oh forest. The, the forest shop scare was very real, but you made it out of there in the end. <laughs> yeah. I. I mean, you could probably tell just by watching the stream. I had one of those moments where I got. I did the check that was hinted directly and went. Oh no! This is hunky for the. Oh no! It's, it's got a reason left. to be something else. Oh no! Yeah. And then left, and immediately upon entering the other lobby to go chase the other thing that I know was directly hinted, I thought to myself, Hey, GG, Gattaket. GG. Gattaket has arrived and has finished with a time of 124.07. Good for third place. Got sniped by, uh, got sniped by King, but also sniped Barry in turn, so there yeah. you go. Oh my goodness. What a, what a ridiculous seed. That's a quick one, that, that's for sure. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Ob but Obio finishes 124.50 and gets fifth. Uh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, this... what a lightning fast seed. It's it's so funny. Again, looking over uh, your moves, I'm pretty sure the only differences are etiquette. You got chimpy charge, and you also got blue slam. I think otherwise you're basically exactly on par. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean that charge was in a hilarious spot. I mean, when are you heading back to the spider boss generic? I... <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so I I went in there and I'm like, I'm just going here for the metal because there's colored bananas on the path to something. I don't remember. And so I walk in and I'm like, well, let me see what it is. And it says potion. I'm like, oh, this is going to be the steal of a century. And then uh, it was charged and I was so sad. Yeah. Oh. Dusk spider boss. Yeah, that would have been the steal of the century for sure. <laughs> yeah, I probably wouldn't have even considered that until I got the pineapple, which I... Logically, we need the pineapple, I'm fairly certain. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. that was the worst red vial you could have found. Any other red vial would have been better. Yeah. I know. Yeah, the... Pineapple, the... and then, uh, we still don't know where the heck Orangasand is. Well, pineapple was right. almost certainly on the hinted Way of the Horde Chunky Metal and Factory. Yes. Because you mm, need, yeah. you logically need pineapple to get the Aztec Chunky Metal. And so it follows that the un the unresolved thing on the factory metals that is key seven key eight lanky k rule, which will lead you to the the Aztec metal for key seven key eight lanky k rule, right? Punch would yeah. lead to pineapple. So you both yeah. just didn't do it, which made a lot of sense. And well, the ring stand wouldn't lead there because that would only lead to hunky, which would only be useful for key seven. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Uh, the current theory is that O stand is rocket barrel lock somewhere. No, it has to be. Yeah. Yeah. My and guess is like ballroom is the best I got. Yeah, I I didn't even do anything other than uh, the two bottom shops in ca in castle. I just left. I was like, I don't need the rest of this level. <laughs> yeah, dude, you went there actually in a pretty interesting expedition. I think just for GB density, right? Uh, I yeah I okay. So here's the thing. The, there are two reasons I went there. One for it was for GB. The other was I got to the cave's boss door and I looked at it and I kind of thought to myself, this seems a little low. Like, like rather, my total seemed a little low compared to the boss door. So I was thinking maybe there's something else in Castle, like another move that I didn't get. Hmm. But, I mean, it didn't work out. And as soon as that didn't work out, I said, Ed, whatever, we're just moving on. Yeah, but I, I yeah. think the genuinely most of that little bit of a time difference was just you having more golden bananas at the very end. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, just, yeah. you went on a little expedition for him and like that was just enough. I think Castle yeah, must and have then, been loaded on GBs because you had a, a hefty advantage in GBs it, even running through Galleon. It was. Like, th thankfully, at least it was. Yeah. And also, I also went back there because I uh, I did miss the crate. But I uh, went back for it. Uh, yep, yeah, well, we missed that you missed the crate, so all good. Thank you for self-reporting. Yeah, at, <laughs> at least I didn't step on a battle arena. Yep, we got away with yeah, this no, Nobody stepped on a battle arena. We're clean on that today. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it was funny because as soon as I got the the whole like skipping pineapple thing was funny because I had the K7 
caves shop to tr uh, to lanky phase, and I was like, well, the only thing I got was vines, and that pretty much solves the key mm -hmm. eight hint. Mm -hmm. So it's probably punch locked. So Aztec Metals is probably punch. So that's why I dipped into like lobby five just to like make sure it was Aztec because I knew Lanky was punch locked. Mm -hmm. um, like Lanky himself was punch locked. And so I was like, all right, that that's there. And so I go into Aztec. I start clearing every single metal and I'm like, oh, this is this is, you know, going fine. About halfway through Aztec, I get my hints and I see factory metals is also path to all this stuff. And I was like, Crap! It's gonna just be the chunky metal. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I, 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 uh, I also got that metal and thought to myself, "Oh no, they're gonna make me climb production." <laughs> yeah, they're, yeah. It was interesting though, because uh, dude, you immediately went into the temple to get all the chunky bananas. So like, you saw the chunky reward immediately, and were just like, mm -hmm. "Great, I'm leaving." <laughs> like, yeah, pretty fast. Whereas uh, etiquette, you got it like last. Yeah. 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 It, well, it was because I was like. I'll I'll like route it to do the back of Aztec. I'll at least get GBs along the way because I was like you like you were saying I was like kind of struggling on GBs. Um, I don't even remember what I did to get into Aztec, but getting into Aztec was a problem. I had like twenty and it cost twenty three. Um, yeah, you literally got there with twenty four. <laughs> yeah, and then I, almost the exact same thing happened for Galleon. I had like I I needed like a couple more GBs, and so. I did a couple of things and I was like, you know what? Let me go to forest first just to see if this item in a shop. I was thinking the item in the shop was going to be O stand. Like, I just hadn't thought it through that it would have been path to some other stuff, too. But I was like, I think the item in the shop is O stand. The item in the uh, inside is probably just hunky, but like, I have to do it just in case. Ah, that was the hint I missed. Um, I missed that mushroom inside for T7. That, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was, uh, I, I didn't look at my hints after. It was like, like 31 or whatever, yeah. 33. If you had seen, oh, did you see second? the monkey porty glue? Did you see what was in there? Uh, It's spring. Yes. Oh, I mean, etiquette, did you ever peek that or did you just not look at that at all? And it got hinted way uh, the board on 40, which is kind of hilarious. I saw it. I thought it was a clear vial, so I didn't care. Oh, yeah. wow. And it's spring. <laughs> that, oops. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, spring, which is, I mean, in some ways, if you saw that, you would have known it was spring it, i think at that point and yeah. you would have just said okay who cares you were also you yeah for chunky. you yeah. had also returned to forest and had your rocket barrel in hand at that point so you were already in go mode basically so you were just chilling yeah. mm -hmm. and that spring is yeah. way of the horde because it got you chunky uh, chunky yeah oh uh, right that was yeah. going <laughs> going <laughs> through hard, easy to forget that that is a spring check <laughs> I, I going through it. factory i was like i was like man i really hope that chunky's just on the metal because i i wasn't confident that donkey could uh, grab that ledge. So I was like, I mm. really hope he's just on the metal. And then <laughs> donkey grabbed the ledge and I was like, yes, all right, we're good. <laughs> is a, that is one of the more lenient ledge grabs with tag anywhere. It's merciful. Yeah, I swear this was clear. Not so. Oh, that's very red. Oh, okay. All right, well. <laughs> that's, <laughs> I, oh, that's, that's a little red. <laughs> I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna level with yeah. you. That is, uh, the filter does not make it any easier, but I'm not saying you need to get your eyes checked, but you know, I think it was, I was because like, say, like, okay, it, it from, like, blew a little more aggressive I than I remember. I'm not gonna lie to you, brother. That's pretty red. If you, if you got vision insurance, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's, it's a reasonable option. I think it's because I saw it from here. I think that's why. Uh, oh so. yeah, actually, from there. Oh, I totally see it from here. Actually, the filter, yeah, with, like those weird lights flashing on it. The filter is brutal. That's. All right. Breezy little so get a little bit closer. Yeah. <laughs> Although if I got closer, I would have done that earlier, and mm -hmm. I would have been really sad when it was spring. So you are not making and the commentator's there's... job very much easier because every time you peek something, you did it for half a frame. Well, it didn't help Sorry. at all. Is that your <laughs> Sorry. your forest shops had three things in it? It had grape, twirl, and like... rocket barrel, and you logically needed two of them, and it wasn't yeah. grape. Can we talk about that? Can we really talk annoying. about the shops here? Like that forest shop having three potions, and then. The, the one shop in factory having two keys. And two keys. That was so funny. Shops loaded up. It's just like what? Which one's key five? Because <laughs> at that Man. point I didn't have the key four hint. It's just. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't think the key four hint. The key four hint was pretty late, so mm -hmm. unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Probably. that was. I, I think I got key four. Before I got the hint, and I was just like, all right, well, I guess this is straightforward enough um key six i made sure to dive lobbies like as i unlocked them just in case 
It was the Galanka Splat, which it just was. Mm. Yeah. Um. Yeah, dude, you got that, that so late. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so, like, it so I'm gonna be honest with you. Had Here's why I got it so late. I, I actually accidentally wrote it down as early lobbies were path the key eight. Ah. Uh, oh. Which is why then I read all my hints and I and then I said, "Where's my key six hint?" Yeah, I, I didn't think it was an accident when you were scanning your hint screen that you you paused on the key six hint. And I was like, I think he's looking for yeah. key sixes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it works out. Like, yeah, it works out. I mean, thankfully, it was just not locked at all, so. I mean, this is a wacky seed. You could do a crazy amount of auto logic. You could just break logic like crazy. You skip Ostain, you skip Hunky, yeah. you can skip Spring. You skip, oh my god, You wait. skip Pineapple. Oh boy. I lost. I, I. Skipping Hunky was a, was a problem for me. I don't know if you all mm -hmm. caught that. <laughs> uh, yeah, there, that, that that did not help you at all. It did not help your case, but... Um, yeah, hey. I, I missed the jump the first time. Picking the up second boulders. time, I got all the way across, put it down, punched the ice open, picked it up, and it exploded. So I had to go all the way back, grab another boulder. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, picking up boulders oh. with relative difficulty. Yeah, Unfortunate. No that, that was truly chunky, just, like, pushing up the boulder. It's the Rock of Sisyphus. Just trying was... to get it up there. <laughs> Yeah, That's that a, was a time. That is a quick one. Though. It was a fun scene, though. Yeah, it was... it's. It feels like these settings lend themselves to seeds kind of like this. It really depends, I think, on how badly. I think a lot of these settings are coming down to how locked keys six and seven are. Oh yeah. Like specifically six and seven, just because they don't lock anything except helm. So it's like they could be anywhere in your seed. Um. And when you have one of them that's just absolutely free like it was in this one, I think it makes it a bit faster. But I think the, the seeds where if you have both of them as locked as key seven was in this one, mm -hmm. uh, they end up being quite a bit longer. Well, you know what else locks very little? Your helm instruments. Your helm instruments are just another set of keys, basically. Yeah. So. Especially since we have open Aztec, so it's just the guitar mm -hmm. doesn't really do that much. Some... Guitar went from the highest value item ever created by man to like, oh, it's kind of nice. It's all right. It's, it's it's high, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's like another poor man's triangle. It gets in above average things in caves, you know. Yeah. Caves, galleon, no uses. Uh, oh more goodness. experimentation to be done here, though. This is certainly a quick one, uh, and people will probably enjoy it being quick. But um. Who knows if the Sunday Weekly, which is going to be on the same setting string, will be anything similar. Uh, you know how these wily devs are. Things go too fast. They just turn up a pain meter. Uh, that is an option. I can assure you. I can assure you that is certainly uh, under consideration. I know I've personally generated a uh, a funny one. Mm hmm. They're, they're all funny. Every seed generated by DK64Randomizer.com is unique and funny in its own way. Everyone has their war stories, whether it's you True. know a Kong and arcade or. Something ridiculous on kosher dirt. Did, yeah. did I, I forgot this one check. The first seed I generated after they found that they they were like, dude, we could put the Kongs anywhere. Isn't that so exciting? The first seed I played, Lanky was in DK Arcade Machine and Chunky was in Mechfish. <laughs> the first one. There's no mercy shown on dk 64 randomizercom <laughs> No. And for as easy as this one was, that may not bode well for the Sunday Weekly. If you want to watch mm -hmm. that. Uh, you're gonna want to keep an eye on the DK64 category. People are gonna be streaming that one for sure. That Sunday time has also moved up a little bit for our, our European friends, so it's I believe an hour or two earlier than it was before. For the full details, come on down to Discord.dk64randomizer.com to say hey and uh, you know enjoy some donking with the rest of the squad. We're all we're all down here having a good time. Come on down, and it's good. I said come on down enough. Come on down. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube. You know, you're pretty cool too. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. You're cool. Keep it cool. Thanks, team. And I believe that'll do it for us today. Any final thoughts on the seed generic? Uh, add more phases to K roll. So true. That's a real, a bold take. Etiquette, do you have a bolder take for us? Add more toes to K roll. Oh, <laughs> not real. Please oh. Get off the <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh my. Alright, well, we're gonna ship y'all off.
We're going to ship y'all off to Obio, who is running an async from one of our test or from one of our seeds. He's running an all keys async. That's going to be the settings we run next week. I'm going to go say hey to him. Say congrats on fifth place. You should have gone faster than 120, you fool. <laughs> Later, gamers. Good luck. Thanks for watching, team. Hope you all have a good one. Morning. Morning. Morning.